Hey everybody, so we are taking a look today at small milkweed bug nymphs that are gathered on our ironweed that's growing out the south door of our house. And there's lots of little clusters on this plant. And the nymphs do this quite a bit. So those are just the early instars of the insect. When they're adults, like that one right there with almost the X on the back, they don't tend to make a big pile like these young nymphs do, which are really noticeable and really quite beautiful, all this red and black coloration. So they're called small milkweed bugs. They definitely feed on milkweed seeds. So if you find these guys on milkweed pods or their counterparts, large milkweed bugs, you don't want to gather those milkweed seeds because they probably won't grow for you. So small milkweed bugs eat mostly plants. So they suck out different juices from the plants. And they have the name small milkweed bugs, but they are not strict to milkweed. As we can see here, they're actually loving ironweed, and I see them a lot on false sunflower. And they're also over here on this potted prickly pear. They're covering some of the pads. So they'll overwinter as adults down in the leaves or in the plant stems. And then in the warm spring, they'll come back out and feed and they can fly and this coloration says that yes like monarchs they don't taste so great because when they are feeding on milkweed they're taking up some of the toxins that the monarch caterpillars do too those cardiac glycosides so these insects do sometimes eat other insects that's what's been noted in the literature uh, so that means sometimes maybe they eat a monarch egg or a monarch or others trapped in the nectar or flowers. Because as a side note, have you ever noticed how many insects get trapped in milkweed, common milkweed? It's a lot. So back to this, one thing though to keep in mind is that these are native insects. They have evolved together with milkweed plants and all these other native plants, just like monarchs have. And so these are not to be persecuted just because they are competing on a milkweed plant. The main problem for monarchs, and you all know this, but we need to keep saying it over and over again so we don't forget. But the main problem is the habitat loss where they winter and where they summer. And I don't know much about where they winter, but where they summer, it's a big deal. So we are in the Midwest and there's just not a lot of milkweed anymore. People are so intent on cleaning up and having edges be clean and roadsides mowed and old fields mowed, and sometimes the old fields get mowed at the worst possible times you can even imagine. So, I'm not saying any of that to be depressing. I'm saying it because there are so many easy fixes for the monarchs. We just need to plant milkweed. We need to plant nectar plants. So milkweed for monarchs, as you know, are host plants. And we need the nectar plants. And we need to not mow when they're in their chrysalises on other plants surrounding the milkweed. And we need to leave the goldenrods grow and the asters so in late fall when they're migrating all the way to Mexico, they have food. This is all stuff we can do. It's all stuff y'all are doing. And so let's remember that when we see beautiful insects like this small milkweed bug here and recognize they are part of the incredible ecology of the native plant world here. And they deserve to live just as much as the monarchs. And so if you want to take a little bit of a reference for growing milkweeds, I wanted to show you this book. This is from, let me see here, if I can get to the cover. Xerxes Society, I believe. And I'm almost there, everybody. Here we go. Yep, Xerxes Society. So we talk about them a lot. They have a ton of materials that are useful. And this is a great one right here. Milkweeds, a conservation practitioner's guide. Xerxes Society. 
and it's got all kinds of information in there for you. So just go to their website and you'll find all kinds of really wonderful publications to help you with restoration. And then an insect book, which I've already showed you, but that I love is the Kaufman Field Guide to Insects of North America. Paying attention to the insects, I think, helps me understand plant roles in such a deeper, more significant way. So have fun and happy October and go look for some of these milkweed bugs. I promise you they're beautiful and you will have great fun seeing them. <laughs>